Nvidia has barely had time to unveil the GeForce RTX 3000 series before we now start seeing even more indications of a 16GB based GeForce RTX 3070 Ti or a supermodel. Now, I have been mentioning this GPU several times before and it has been known for quite a while now that Nvidia has at least two 3070 SKUs available. We're gonna look into this in just a second guys but my question is, is this going up against Big Navi aka upcoming 6900 XT? Now remember Big Navi is said to make use of the full Navi 21 GPU which has 5120 cores and 16 gigs of VRAM. Nvidia most definitely knows about this GPU which perhaps makes the 3070 the perfect counter or does it really? Short message here guys, if you don't want to miss any upcoming Ampere or Big Navi news make sure to stay subscribed to never miss an episode. Now going back to this topic here honestly I would be surprised if Big Navi only reaches 3070 Ti performance, very surprised in fact. Now we're basically talking AMD's biggest RDNA 2 based GPU here and this GPU for being 7 nanometer is huge. Now according to Rogue Game and Copilot 7 Kimi GA102 which is sitting inside both the 3080 and the 3090 is 628 square millimeters. Navi 21 on the other hand based on TSMC 7 nanometer process node is said to be around 505 square millimeters in size. But remember guys this is not 8 nanometer Samsung, this is 7 nanometer TSMC. The smaller process node makes it possible for AMD to pack even more cores on the same area and thus there is no reason why AMD shouldn't be able to compete with the 3080. Obviously I could be wrong here and I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Anyway with the launch of the GeForce RTX 3000 series, one or perhaps even two eyebrows were most definitely raised over the fact that the TP Top 3090 is getting over 10,000 CUDA cores and 24 gigs of VRAM while the 3070 receiving 8 gigs and the 3080 receiving 10. And so between the 3080 and the 3090 there is a huge gap and this is where upcoming 3080 Super or even the 3070 Super comes in. Now it should be said guys while we aren't 100% sure about these names yet, we are pretty sure that Nvidia is picking Super over Ti for this generation but this can obviously change. Anyway a lot of us have been speculating that Nvidia would launch a GeForce RTX 3080 Super card with 20 gigs of VRAM in the future and this will most definitely happen but the next card in line doesn't seem to be the 3080 Super. In fact most rumors points to the 3070 Super being the next GPU coming out and if the product listing from Lenovo is to be trusted, the 3070 Ti or Super will most likely fill the gap between the 3090 and the 3080. The product listing is coming from a pre-built Legion 70 series and has been removed uh, as usual after the unveiling whoever video cards were fast enough to take a screenshot. Now it should be said though guys that this is far from the only 3070 leak we've seen so far. Uh, the Twitter user called Rogue Game has also been able to spot an RTX 3070 Ti from MSI equipped with 16 gigs of VRAM. Now a question I've seen a couple of times is how can we be so sure that this 3070 GPU is not a 3080? Well it's actually pretty simple guys. Because the 3080 has a bus width of 320 bits, Nvidia can only go with 20 or 10 gig configurations for this card. Now the same goes for the 3070 and the way that the card is structured. It only allows for either 8 gig or 16 gigs of VRAM configurations. Now although these are all rumors and should be obviously treated as such, I can guarantee you guys 100% that there is a 16 gigabyte coming quite soon actually. Jensen will do whatever in his power to not be played by Lee Sasu here, even if it means releasing the full fat GA102. Anyway I feel like we got a bit sidetracked here, let's jump back to the 3070. So this card will have twice as much graphics memory as the 3070 and even more than the big brother 3080. But again this larger amount of memory will stay on the very same 256 memory bus and so if you like me find 10 gigs worth of VRAM being on the short side for 4K gaming this card can definitely be the answer. Now regarding whether Nvidia will end up using TI or Super, I don't honestly think that the card makers have been able to keep up with Nvidia and therefore they simply assume that they're gonna call it TI. Anyway despite which name they end up picking, I think this card will be a brilliant 4K option and the true 2080 Ti killer. Now this skew guys should also see a nice 
price uplift in CUDA cores as well, whereas the 8GB variant received 5,888 CUDA cores, the 3070 Super should see a total of 6,144 cores in total. Now, if these reports or leaks are true, guys, we should see the RTX 3070 Ti or Super pretty soon, but knowing that the RTX 3070 will not be launched until October 2020, we might see the Super card start popping up around November, but obviously I'm going to keep you guys informed, so make sure to stay subscribed to never miss an episode. Thank you so much for sticking around this long. God, I, I need to, <coughs> I need to work on my. I think I must job up on my pronunciation. My English is not super tight, so. Okay, well, that has to cut it. Enough of the bloopers.